Hello and welcome to Cinema4Dtutorial.net Today we are going to create the disc holograms from Tron Legacy Here's what we are going to do We will explore the MoGraph tools then use them to create the following objects with different shapes Well, let's begin First of all, add a sphere object Next, go to Attributes and change Type Let's select Hycosahedron from the list. Then reduce the segments. We want big polygons around the sphere, therefore let's select 19. Great. Now we are going to edit the sphere. Press the button right here. To continue we need to select the whole sphere. Make sure to use the polygon tool. Alright. Now let's extrude the polygons. Select Extrude Inner. Before you do so, turn off the Preserve Groups. Very good. Now move the mouse slowly like this. OK. The next thing we are going to do is invert the selection and hit Delete. Now we obtain the sphere we were looking for. At this point we will use one of the MoGraph tools which is called target effector. Let's click target effector. Next, drag and make it child of the sphere. Good. Now go to deformer and change deformation. And select polygon from the list. Notice the polygons have changed their positions. And watch this. Select the target effector and move the axis like this. Fun, isn't it? But this is not the effect we are looking for. Now go to Fall Off and change shape. Select Sphere from the list. As you may observe, Target Effector is composed of circles that deformate the sphere as they intersect. That's it. This is an easy and cool effect we will be using to create the disk hologram. And there you go, that's how Target Effector works. Now let's go ahead and coming next we will continue exploring the Mograph tools.